This is the story of how and why I painted over 130 houses in the Tulsa area. How is much easier to explain than the why. The why? I don't really know. I just do. I just go where the instinct takes me. And then afterwards, we circle back and we find the meaning in that. Because that's easier. They've just been in this box for two years now. Back in 2021, I had a lot more free time. And my boss gave me a bunch of these little watercolor papers, Arches watercolor papers. She was using it for conservation and then had a bunch of leftovers and was like, I think you would like these. And she was right. And then I had a bunch of them and I was like, well, what am I going to do with them? And I was already painting houses, doing commissions. And so I was like, well, let me lean into that. And I was like, you know what would be cool? is if I could just have like a wall full of houses and then I could stand in front of it and it would look cool and I could get a cool photograph. That was that was kind of the main motivation at first. And then it just got deeper and deeper as I went on. So I'm the kind of person who likes to draw and paint from life most of the time, if I can. I don't like to be uncomfortable. I don't want to be too hot or too cold, but I want to paint from life. So I started winter. 2022, like January winter 2022, if that makes sense. And I started drawing from the inside of my car and I would drive to different neighborhoods. I would park my car and I would sit there for like 10, 15 minutes maybe and draw. And this was a good process. It worked out quite well, except for the times that people ran me down in their cars thinking I was casing their houses to steal from them, which I was not. Um, a lot of people knocked on my door and was like, what are you doing in our neighborhood? Just goes to show how in the good old United States of America, we just aren't allowed to loiter at all. We aren't allowed to like not be doing anything. Even just sitting in my car, like on the street is, is suspicious. We just, we can't just like be anywhere without a purpose. Like I just wanted to like walk in someone else's neighborhood and they're like, you know, you don't belong here. What are you doing here? Why are you here? Because we don't have third spaces to be anywhere. So we all just are at work or at home. And then if you're not at work or at home, you're just not allowed to be anywhere else. Anyway, that's a, my own personal problem with that. But that's kind of where I started out. And kind of towards the middle of that, it was like 2022 and gas prices started to go. So I started to kind of work from home and do and use Google Maps and just kind of go on Google Maps and find um, houses in different neighborhoods. And then I didn't have to drive so far away to other neighborhoods. And also I was beginning to get a little creeped out by uh, people wondering what I was doing all the time. And not everyone was negative. Some people were really curious and super nice. And some came and bought my artwork. Some of them was the house that I was working on. So that was really awesome. So I did have some nice connections and people who were really curious and fascinated with the work that I was doing. But a lot of it was heavy skepticism, I would say. In May, I had like six months and I really wanted to get like 300 works done because I was doing at Curations by Gilcrease and I measured it based off the wall. I wanted to like totally fill up the wall, but I didn't reach that goal. And it ended up being okay anyway because. We, we can't all reach our goals. It's fine. And I also was weirdly optimistic that I was like going to sell every single one of these paintings. I don't know why. I think you have to be a little bit delusional to one, be an artist. And two, when you go into it, like every time I go into an art show, I'm like, yes, I'm going to sell out. What if I sell out and then I don't have any more work and then I never sell anything? That's just how it goes. Honestly, you got to stay delusional to be in this business and that's fine. I think I sold maybe seven of them. So you're missing seven homes. But hey, if you live in Tulsa and one of these are yours, reach out to me. You can uh, still purchase them for me because I still have all of them. So I had my art show in May. It was amazing. Um, I got my name in the paper. I still haven't got it framed. It's just still crumpled and rolled, but I will get it framed eventually, maybe by the time I publish this video, which also it, 
it's 2024 now. So it has taken me approximately two years to make a YouTube video about this, but that's okay because we're not perfect. Things are, things are happening all the time and you have to give yourself a lot of grace as an artist. You have to be delusional and give yourself a lot of grace. I was, I was really optimistic that this show was going to kind of change something in my life. And in a weird way, it, it did, um, and it didn't. And I'm really proud of the work that I did. And I still don't know what to do with all of my hundred houses that I haven't sold. And they're just in this box. And I, I got some cards made out of them. I got them all digitally photographed. So I'm trying to work with Photoshop on it, but I'm kind of a Photoshop amateur, not gonna lie. I'm just really proud of it. And especially because I don't have a place right now to show it, I've been thinking more and more about showing my previous art on YouTube so it can kind of live as a online exhibition. People to find and consume maybe, maybe months from now, years from now, just a portfolio of my work that's digital, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to close this end of the video quietly with clips of the houses so you guys can just watch and enjoy and not hear me talk anymore. All right, thanks. So I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Let me know if you've learned something, what you think about this process. Tell me about your own art process. Do you have weird projects that you're working on that no one seems to understand? Please feel free to like and subscribe, as they say. And um, maybe I'll make more videos like this in the future.